Now, Swindon take on Premier League side Tottenham Hotspur this evening in a pre-season friendly at the county ground. Swindon are currently without a manager after Kevin McDonald left at the weekend. The club have formed strong links with Spurs and have signed a number of their younger players on loan. Mark Cooper has taken temporary charge of the team while the search for a new boss continues. Let's head back to the pre-season football this evening. Tottenham travel to Swindon tonight. Fraser Robertson is at the county ground for us and Fraser can bring us the team news. Good evening from the county ground, where I can tell you it's a pretty strong Tottenham starting lineup, and there will be a lot of first team players coming on in the second half as well. Now, their new £17 million signing, Polinho from Corinthians, he's not yet with the Tottenham squad for pre season after playing in the Confederations Cup with Brazil. I'm told he's due back at the end of July and will not go on the Asian tour with the club but the starting 11 tonight it's Loris in goals Brad Friedel should replace him I'm told at half time the back four Kyle Walker at right back Michael Dawson at centre half and he's partnered in the centre of defence by Kevin Stewart another 21 youngster and left back is Kyle Naughton interesting to see once we approach the start of the Premier League season, whether Kyle Naughton will be the first choice left back. Member Jan Vertonghen played there much of last season when Benoit Asokoto was out of favour. Well, Vertonghen is on the bench this evening and he will appear in the second half. Asokoto, he only came back to pre season training yesterday along with Emmanuel Adebayor. They were involved in internationals for their respective African countries. In midfield, it's a midfield three, Tom Huddleston anchoring the midfield. Scott Parker is on the bench and we will see him in the second half. Sandro is still injured. And the other two midfielders, Nabil Bentaleb, a young French Moroccan, and Gilfi Sigerson. And the front three, Jermaine Dufault is the centre forward, Gareth Bale on the left, and the young ex-Barcelona youngster, Christian Ceballos on the right. Aaron Lennon on the bench, we'll see him in the second half. Well, Tottenham are at Swindon tonight for a pre-season match. Fraser Robertson is there for us. Fraser, what's the latest? It's League One, Swindon nil, Tottenham nil, but Tottenham really dominating so far. Nine minutes played after only a minute and a half. Gareth Bale had a chance in the six-yard box, but the Swindon keeper, Fornlingham, came out to smother at his feet. And from the resultant corner, Jermaine Defoe had a header off the bar. But a quite strong Tottenham team here with Lloris and goals, Walker at right back, Dawson, Kyle Norton, Tom Huddleston, Sigerson, Defoe and Bale. Swindon Tottenham, Fraser Robertson. It's Swindon nil, Tottenham one. Guess who? Gareth Bale. A beautiful through ball from Gilfie Sigerson. Bale onto it, so sharp this early in pre-season, and he buried it into the top right-hand corner. Don't think any keeper in the world would have stopped that one. Swindon nil, Tottenham one. So Tottenham are at Swindon tonight with, for a pre-season match. Fraser Robertson is there for us. Fraser, what's the latest? Swindon nil, Tottenham won. Gareth Bale with an absolute beauty this early in pre-season. He really does look physically fit and very, very sharp. When Tottenham have got the ball, he's really playing inside. Although in the team sheet, he was down as left of a front three. When Tottenham don't have the ball, he drops back in to form that left side with Kyle Norton. Now, it's a big pre-season for Kyle Norton playing left back here again, although he's a more natural right back because I'm told Jan Vertonghen is seen as a centre half for next season in the Premier League. Andrew Villas-Post does not want to see him out at left back again. And of course, Benoit Asokoto was really out of favour towards the end of last season. So at the moment, Bale is running it as there's a Swindon penalty claim not given. Swindon nil, Tottenham won. Going on in tonight's friendlies. Tottenham are at Swindon tonight for a pre-season match. And Fraser Robertson is there for us. Fraser, what can you tell us? It remains Swindon nil, Tottenham won. That beautiful goal from Gareth Bale, who'd threatened us early as the first minute when his shot was saved by Fotheringham. But it's an interesting pre-season, not just for Bale, and he looks so sharp out here tonight, but for Tom Huddleston playing that holding midfield role, because, of course, Tottenham will side Polinho in the midfield from Corinthians. He's not here today because he's involved with Confederations Cup 
with Brazil. He actually doesn't report to the club until the end of this month. And also a big pre-season for Jermaine Defoe. No secret that Tottenham are looking for another centre forward. It was just him and Adebayor as a number nine last season. Linked, of course, with Leandro, the Brazilian. And, of course, Christian Benteke. Will he be coming to Tottenham? He's due to report back to Aston Villa for pre-season on Thursday. Here at Swindon, nil, Tottenham won. Thanks, Fraser. Tottenham are at Swindon tonight for a pre-season match and Fraser Robertson is there for us. Fraser, what's the latest? It's half-time, League One, Swindon nil, Tottenham won. Gareth Bale after 15 minutes and Bale had the first chance of the match after a minute and a half. Beautiful ball uh, through and uh, Bale was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, Fodringham, and he saved at his feet. Then to fall from that resultant corner, hit the bar with a header. Bale made it 1-0 and only really one chance for Swindon. Young Louis Thompson was through the middle of the Tottenham defence, one-on-one -on -one with uh, Hugo Lloris. But Lloris looks sharp, coming out to narrow the angle and save with his foot. There'll be a few changes, I'm told, in the second half. We expect to see Jan Vertonghen, uh, Lennon, Parker and Brad Friedel. Well There's been a goal at Motherwell. Which way has it gone? Fraser Robertson. Sorry, it's been a goal in the game between Swindon and Tottenham. Which way has it gone? Fraser Robertson. No, we've just kicked off in the second half. It remains Swindon nil, Tottenham one. That Gareth Bale fabulous finish after 15 minutes. But I can tell you, Bale is now off, as is Defoe, as is Dawson, as is Lloris. And there's a few come on now at the back. Vertonghen's come on, Stephen Colker, the other centre half. Kyle Walker's gone off as well. And Danny Rose, Tottenham player, of course, on loan at Sunderland for the whole of last season. He's on at left back. John Obika, the big centre forward, he was on loan at Charlton last season. He's replaced Defoe. And Aaron Lennon is now on, on the left wing. Right. 355 miles north of the county ground, you'll find Fur Park, where there has been a goal. Uh, Motherwell against Newcastle. Luke Shanley. And Gareth Bell has scored his first goal of the season for Spurs in their pre-season game at Swindon. And they're deep into the second half of that game. Gareth Bale then on the score sheet. Let's get an update from the county ground now with Fraser Robertson. Fraser. Yes, we're now into the final 15 minutes here. Swindon nil, Tottenham one. Gareth Bale went off at half time, as did most of that starting 11 for Tottenham. So Lloris, Walker, Dawson, Norton, Huddleston. And Swindon have equalised. I can't quite tell you who scored at the moment, but that new look Tottenham in the second half. He changed both centre halves. Michael Dawson went off and his young centre half partner, Kevin Stewart, went off. And Jan Vertonghen and Stephen Colker were the centre halves. And the Tottenham defence has been found out in the second half. And the county ground is now celebrating the equaliser. Swindon won, Tottenham won. Right, full time at the county ground. Let's head back to Fraser Robertson. Fraser. Tottenham have been held here this evening. Swindon won, Tottenham won. Gareth Bale put Tottenham ahead after 15 minutes. A superb through ball from Gilfie Sigerson to pick out Bale in behind the two centre halves. And a fabulous finish from the man that got, what, 21 league goals in 33 starts last season. But Swindon, very, very plucky, the League One side, who made the League One semi-finals last season. They came back into it with 15 minutes remaining in this match. The goal from Andy Williams. And Tottenham much changed in the center, second half. Bale was taken off at half-time, as was the likes of Dawson, the goalkeeper, Lloris, Jermaine Defoe. Vertonghen came on the second half as well as Colker at centre-half, but they two were caught out on that goal. But the real question now is, who will Tottenham get as their new centre-forward? Not if, because once again, the goals issue has arisen here in the first public pre-season game. Gareth Bale, 21-33, and 33, almost double Jermaine Defoe's league goals last season, 11, and Adebayor, of course, only got 
what, five league goals as well. Will it be Christian Benteke? He wants away from Aston Villa. It finished here tonight. Swindon won, Tottenham won. Now, one of Europe's most wanted players has scored his first goal of pre-season this evening as Tottenham were held to a one-all draw by Swindon in their first pre-season friendly of the campaign. Andre Villas Boas named a strong side, including Gareth Bale, and the Welshman so showed no signs of rustiness. How about that for a goal? 15 minutes gone, great strike. Swindon levelled in the 76th minute. Andy Williams deflected shot, looping in over Brad Friedel. Now, more than 10,000 fans turned up the county ground to watch Swindon Town play Premier League side Tottenham Hotspur in a pre-season friendly last night. Gareth Bale scored first for the Spurs, for the Spurs, for Spurs, before Andy Williams got the equaliser for Swindon, and it finished one all. The home side are still looking for a new manager after the departure of Kevin McDonald. Well done, the Swindon. Yeah. <laughs>